I think I started bowling back in the late 50s when I was single and lived in Lancaster. And I worked for the telephone company. I don't think I bowled on their team, but I think just a bunch of us girls decided to go out and bowl, and I must have liked it. But that was kind of short-lived because I got married a few years later and moved down here to um, Westchester. And then we started, um, I had the children and I needed something to get out. It was West Goshen had an old uh, bowling alley back behind LA Fitness. And so I went in there and I asked if they needed bowlers or anything. And they said, yeah, they're always looking for bowlers. So I signed up and lo and behold, I hooked up with this one girl named Miriam Myers. And so we ended up and got on a team. And that was almost like, um, I think about 53 years ago. <laughs> to begin with, we had like a team of four people and we had like about 10 teams or something like that. So it was a big league. Well, now we're all getting older and we're all up in our um, 70s and 80s. So we're down to 12. We're dwindling quick. <laughs> But we're still active. I want to keep active and keep doing it as long as we can. One of my highest games that I've ever bowled was uh, a 279, 279. And I bowled that um, not too long ago. I'd say 8 to 10 years ago. So I wasn't too young <laughs> to be able to do that. I didn't realize anything was happening uh, out of the ordinary until the 10th frame. It got very quiet. And I'm looking around, I'm going, yeah, girls, what's up, you know? And they go, just bowl. And somebody said, you have nine strikes. And I went, nine strikes? And I guess I, I don't know, I tried not to freeze, but you know, you think nine strikes, I'm close to a perfect game, which is 300. So I threw the ball and I get nine pins. So now it means I have to get a spare, which I did. And then I got a strike. So if I'd have gotten a strike and lucked out and gotten one more strike because I got the other one, I'd have been fine and had the perfect game. But it messed up. So now I still have something to really strive for, a 300 game. Now we play at um, the Downingtown uh, Palace, and we play cards, poker cards. We only put a dollar in. It's not like a big deal. But especially now there's only 12 of us. A bunch of gambling old ladies. <laughs> I do bowl two times a week. I find it's very helpful because it keeps me loose, it keeps me like um, moving. And I think that's the secret of getting older is keep moving because when you stop moving, everything shuts down. I got my husband involved in bowling because he's not very athletic. He kept saying he can't bowl. And I said, well, it doesn't matter because the seniors are all older and we don't care. We're just there for socializing. We don't even win money or nothing. We have a big banquet and we eat. We come home and he goes, I like that. They're nice people. And I go, what do you think? I run around with bad people? <laughs> but anyway, since then he's loved it and he looks forward to it too. We really go for the social part of it more than, because as you get older, it kind of gets like, what happened? All of a sudden, you know, you were busy, 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 run, 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 run. And all of a sudden it's like, yo, we got to start doing things. <laughs> And so that's, that's one of the main reasons for us to go bowling. And I think it keeps you young. <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs>